Chapter 2, Lesson 2, The Hands-On Activity, Prime Factorization Patterns. It says you can make a pattern using paper and a hole punch. By folding the paper, hole punching it, and counting the holes, you can discover a pattern. So that's exactly what I've done here. Fold a piece of paper in half and make one hole punch, and then open the paper. So here I've folded. I can see I've got one hole punch. I open the paper, and how many holes do I have? I have two holes in the paper. So the prime factorization for that number is two. Step two says fold another piece of paper in half twice. Let's fold that up some. So here, I folded it in half, and then I fold it in half again. So I have two folds and then I hole punch, and then I open, and you guessed it, there are four holes in the paper. And how do we factor four? Well, that becomes two times two. Okay, so now we're gonna complete the table for one, two, and three folds. So if I fold it at once, I got two holes, and we factor that as just a two, it's a prime number. Okay. The second time, I folded two folds, and I got four holes, and we factor that by saying two times two. So now, we're folding three times. So I have folded and folded and folded a third time, and you can see my paper got really tiny, and then I hole punched it once, so then if I can peel this open, we can count all of my, ooh, my sticky has stuck together. Let's see if we can count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So to factor eight, we have two times two is four times two is eight. Okay. So, let's take a look. What do we notice is happening with these three numbers? Well, we started with two, and that doubled to four, and then that four looks like it's doubled to eight. You see what I'm seeing? Okay. Question four asks us, what pattern do we notice between the number of factors in each prime factorization and the number of folds? Well, we haven't looked at that. So let's, I mean, we could kind of look at that. We have the number of folds here. We have number of folds is one, and then we have one prime digit for factorization. Here we have the number of folds is two, and we ended up with two digits in our prime factorization. Hmm, here we have three folds, and it took us two times two times two to get to eight. So it took us three prime digits in our factorization. So that's really interesting, okay? So we might write something like um, the number of folds looks like that will determine the number of factors when oops when we use prime factorization big word. So if that's the case, then let's use the pattern that we've discovered in step four and complete the table for four and five folds. So if we have the number of folds is four, then how many digits are we going to have over here in prime factorization? And if you said four, 
I think you're correct. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And each of these were doubling, so if 8 were to double, that would be 16. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. 8 times 2, ha, ha, gets us to 16. Holy moly, I think we're on to something. So now we have 5 folds, so that means we're going to have 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and one more. So we're going to double 16, which is going to give us 32. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Let's work this out in our space. I want to factor 32. 32 is 4 times 8. Sure. Factor 4 into 2 and 2. I can factor 8 into 2 times 4 is 8. But then I still have to factor this into 2 and 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spot on. Okay? I'm going to leave... Um, the talk about it section for you and your teacher. Thanks for listening.